There you go. You're gonna stay on there. There you go. Here you go. Good fish. Good fish, Mike. That's it. All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Truman Lake. Uh, caught a couple fish already, as you've seen, and uh, enjoying ourselves trying to figure out this lake. Biggest uh, improvement today is we got the Lake Master card. So um, you can see the details just a little bit better. So when you go to these lakes, we like to we like to have the most detailed map as we can, and these Lake Master cards do that for us when we put them in these hummingbirds. Bring it in. That one's gonna get weighed. Ooh, that's a good fish right there, guys. And we both weigh them occasionally just to see, because at the end of the day, we wanna go to places that we're catching the biggest fish, and those are kind of marks for us during the tournament. <laughs> Not a two pounder. Here, that's one. You think he's a pound? Nah, I really don't. There you go. I just want to weigh him out of curiosity. Good fish, Mikey. Mike's sporting the, the uh, mellow yellow shirt today. <laughs> <laughs> I had a crazy one picked out myself today, guys, from Windrider. Um, they've got some really interesting colors. And um, I saw Mike's shirt this morning. I said, you know what? I think I'll go with the, the standard, you know, gray and white. I didn't want people to be really staring at us at the boat ramp. Look at this guy right here, guys. Nice, big target right here. What did he weigh? 0.9. All right, so I'll fill in for that. We catch some fish left and right out here, boys and girls, out in the yeah. creek. Unfortunately, they're all about 0.9. We're gonna find out how big he is. Good fish. So what we're doing is we're fishing this intersection right here. You guys can see that intersection. And um, just an absolute ton of fish, really. Everywhere we're turning, there's another mark. There are marks all over here. We just need to find the bigger marks. Um, these are about pound fish though. So we're just, our goal now is just to find where the bigger ones are. As I've been saying, I went actually back to the Hammer 10. You guys can check it out right there. Um, it's allowing me, I feel, to set the hook a little bit quicker. Uh, lighter rod, smaller rod, etc. These fish are not spooky. They're allowing us to get right up to them. So a 10 footer is great and the hammer 10 is awesome, super strong. So what I did was I, I do upgrade the, the line to an optimizer, a 12 pound. He's as big as anyone on the top of that, but I bet he's 125. Here he comes. Oh yeah, he, you see that big movement? Oh yeah. Yeah, he ain't no big. Told you. He ain't no big. That'll probably be our, that's gonna be close, that's 125 maybe. It's a good fish. Biggest fish since we've been here. Here's well, another one. But... Look at this one. Another one. All right, guys. So good time this morning. We're uh, definitely changed. Uh, went from the, the timber um, 
into the middle of the creek channel. Sorry, I'm going to change baits. I'm going to show you the loop knot again like I've shown it a thousand times. Or why not show it again? One of those things. But we're going to change the color of the jig head. So, again, what I've done is I've changed to my 10-footer so that I can be a little bit quicker. I, wasn't, I didn't feel like I was being quick enough. It's a really quick bite. It's, and um, also gone to a 32nd ounce jig. So that guy right there. And I'm going to stick with the plastic I'm using, but I'm going to change the jig head to give it more contrast. I also want to mention our, our sponsors, the original fish formula, uh, PTG. Cornfield fishing gear, sniping braid, hog fishing. You'll see the hog fishing net out this weekend. Can't wait. You guys haven't, you know, checked out hog fishing. You need to. Uh, incredible nets that allow you to customize the colors if you haven't heard about them. Um, all these great companies support us out here on the Crappie Masters Elite Series. We had a foo ball yesterday with the uh, crappie breaks. So I'll get into that, but here's the loop knot right through there. I'm trolling it around, and I'm gonna throw it right back through the the loop that I created. That's what we call the gaba stuff right there, or I do. And then it's just a matter of cinching it down where you want it, right there. But yeah, we got our crappie breaks. They broke yesterday, so we didn't get the fish with them. And we had a nice gentleman from JC, JC is his name, from um, Bucksaw Resort. Fantastic guy, he helped us out. We got it done quick. So we didn't have to waste a lot of time that last night, which was really nice. So we appreciate you for that. Go check out Bucksaw Marina Resort. Don't necessarily have to catch them, but uh, if you're seeing big targets, that could be a good thing. So there I am coming right on a good fish here, hopefully. Big guy to react. He's gonna be 1.1. I'll say 105. Ah, you guys look so good down there. Yeah. Super, yeah, that was supposed to be a lot bigger than that. I don't know, tomorrow might be worth exploring this. Okay. This is as good with you. Yeah, it's fine. Look me. That's a good one. Anyway, guys, peace out. Great day. Ended up very windy, as you can see. We got some big waves coming in now. Kind of slows it down, but thanks again for the follow. Please subscribe. Have a great one, guys.